These are 3D printed minions. I wanted to make some toys for my kid and these are my first attempt at doing so. I know he loves minions. The real question is, will he like what I created? What's his reaction going to be? How do I go from something that's raw like this, fresh off the 3D printer, into something that's more looking like the final product? If you have five minutes time, I will be able to take you through this. It took five hours uh, to print it and it took about a day overall. Here it is in the slicer and let's put the 3D printer to work. My son is one and a half years old now, so the toy is pretty simple. It's pretty much a model. As he gets older, the toys can get more complex and hopefully we can reach a point where he is able to, you know, design and print his own toys himself. Imagine that, it's like you can have any toy you want in the world, you're just gonna print it. You know, as 3D printing prices come down and the technology improves, this will no longer be a weird thing to say. So now that the print's done, you can see I've got to kind of skillet this thing and uh, scrape it off of the hot plate. It kind of sticks to it. I have a raft printed around it so it kind of protects that bottom layer and lets you know that you're going to print roughly in the right area. These are the two pieces that come out and uh, let's see if they align. Yep, looks good. As soon as I start cleaning this up, they should come together nicely. Um, I'll remove all these edges, I'll get a tool out and have the filers and smooth it all out. And then we're gonna glue the two pieces together. So I did skip forward a bit, but earlier I did print the mini versions and I painted them just so I could get some lessons learned as I work on the bigger model. Here I've taped it up. You can see that I've protected all the different layers. We've got the blue on first uh, for the overalls. And here we are doing the, uh, the feet, the gloves, um, and then I think the, the mouth as well. Cool, so stage one done. Let's uh, remove this bottom layer of tape here. And let's see if the lines come out smooth. This will be the only layer I can do for now because the other layers will have extra paint coming on. But that came out quite nicely. Just do the other leg here. You can see there's just something nice about that crisp line you get at the end of it. All right, so let's move on to the next bit. I'm gonna mix up some colors here. This will be uh, for the goggles themselves. There you have it. There's the goggles and the teeth done and the, the whites on the inside of the eyes. So let's actually get the eyes done here. We got to rely on some artistic skills here and I've got the example at the bottom so I can get the little, the, the color right. And we'll just brighten up the goggles there. Nice. All right, let's get to the fun part. You know, let's remove some of this uh, from the overalls and see if the yellow paint stays. Beautiful. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Here I'll just remove all the sides now and you can just enjoy the satisfaction of a clean, clean, uh, clean paint. And there you have it. Wow, have a look at that. I think it came out pretty good. I'm just gonna wait for the paint to dry. I'll show you the details here, but now we're coming up to the exciting moment. The first reaction, see what my son thinks when I show him this toy. Hello. 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 Yep, we got a winner guys. He loves it. I had a lot of fun working on this project for my son. Hopefully you enjoyed the journey too. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe and share this video. I appreciate it.